The government has promised every Singaporean who needs a COVID-19 vaccine will get one affordably when it's available. There are also plans to ramp up vaccine production capacity. For a closer look, we're joined by Mr. Ng Chun Peng, founder and CEO of Immunoscape, and Mr. Lin Xiang Liang, president and CEO of Esco Asta. Mr. Ng, I'll come to you first. Uh, with you, uh, researchers around the world are racing to come up with a COVID-19 vaccine. Is there room for more coordination or collaboration? Well, thank you, uh, Steve and Glenda, for having us on the show uh, tonight. Well, we are already seeing a lot of willingness uh, to collaborate to solve the most pressing issue in the world today, when it makes sense. And uh, Immunoscape is already collaborating with MassGen, Hospital of Harvard in Boston, Duke NUS, Singapore, and University of Parma in Italy. We are also in talks uh, with the biopharma company that has the FDA-approved therapeutic on a project, and also with four to five vaccine development companies from Europe and the US. And uh, one of them is actually Arcturus Therapeutics, a San Diego-based company that is conducting clinical trials in collaboration with Duke and US Singapore under the leadership of uh, PI, Dr. Wee Eng Yong. So can we collaborate more? But of course, so Immunoscape is actively reaching out to more of the 130 programs uh, in vaccine development across the world to offer up our platform technology that it will help them bring to market uh, vaccines uh, much more quickly and more effectively. Mr. Ng, so where does Immunoscape's uh, research fit in? You know, you mentioned that about 130 potential vaccines are also being developed in Singapore right now? Well, you know, uh, globally. Um, so Immunoscape is an immune profiling company that aids uh, vaccine developers from across the world to bring the vaccine to market more quickly and more effectively. And Immunoscape makes use of the high dimensional immune profiling technology to analyze the immune system. It is a bit like a high dimensional TV where we identify the relevant immune cells accurately and providing the detailed analysis at the sing single cell level of the millions of immune cells across the body. This can be uh, utilized by the multiple vaccine companies from across the world to help them bring the vaccines to the market more quickly. Mr. Lin, your company, Esco Aster, is co-developing a vaccine with a U.S. company. How is this different from other vaccines? Our vaccine candidate, which is uh, being co-developed with Vivaldi Biosciences, this itself has a universal influenza backbone. Uh, it has been given in early stage clinical trials to more than 100 patients with no adverse events or any viral shedding. Um, in, in and of itself, the concept is like a Lego concept. So we have a backbone, uh, and then this is joined together with uh, different sequences, uh, genetic sequences, and we can actually form new vaccine candidates uh, once a backbone is uh, fully clinically developed in the less than a month. Uh, the vaccine in and of itself actually is a uh, self-adjuvenating. Therefore, actually, uh, this is a uh, uh, added safety and for ease of production. Uh, it is also actually filled in a form of a nasal spray. So we have one dose uh, in each nostril per patient. So we avoid the need of having any injections and it can be easily administered by the healthcare ecosystem. Uh, furthermore, we have uh, considered that uh, you know, developing manufacturing capabilities and capacities, this is actually a global effort that needs to take place. So we are using a well-known uh, cell line. The cells are like mini factories that produce a vaccine. Uh, the cell line we're using is a vivo cell line. This is a well-known cell line that is uh, used for many commercial approved vaccines, such as rabies and JEV. Uh, and this vivo cell line is a uh, uh, many vaccine companies around the world already have a well-established uh, vivo cell manufacturing platform. So we will be able to scale up with the help of uh, international collaborators and the entire healthcare ecosystem in order to produce sufficient doses uh, internationally for global supply. 
Right. Well, Prime Minister Lee Hsien Loong um, said last week that Singapore will build up our vaccine manufacturing capabilities to ramp up production once a vaccine is available. So what kind of vaccine production capacity are we talking about here? Will that be for domestic demand or export as well? Mm -hmm. I, this, uh, this was similarly also mentioned by Minister Lawrence Wong, uh, but such a vaccine manufacturing capability once a vaccine candidate uh, is available and is uh, commercially developed, will be uh, available for those in need. Um, so, however, in order to have, uh, uh, from a business point of view, in order to have uh, sufficient economies of scale, uh, such a vaccine fill and finish facility uh, will be needed for the entire ASEAN and um, uh, Oceania. So that's Australia and New Zealand. So that will be serving a population of uh, more than 650 million people. And when do you see a production of vaccines uh, to begin? A lot of companies like yourselves are sort of in a race, in, a, in effect, to uh, get something out as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there are two aspects to this. Uh, as of date, actually, there are more than uh, 130 different vaccine candidates uh, that are being developed. And uh, in addition to that, there are actually more than uh, 400 different uh, therapeutics that are being repurposed. Uh, such as uh, Vendisivir or uh, monoclonal antibodies. Uh, however, for a fill and finish facility, if you're looking at uh, uh, sufficient needs for Singapore, uh, and if you're doing it from scratch, a fill and finish facility that will produce uh, 25 million doses per annum will take anywhere from one and a half to two years um, uh, to, to, to develop, even if you're using a containerized or modular format to build a plant uh, greenfield site. If you're looking at the uh, uh, regional supply, so that is uh, estimated at 1 billion doses per annum, then such a facility, even without a freeze dryer, may take anywhere from uh, two and a half to three years. Uh, of course, there they could be possibilities in which uh, um, uh, other fill lines uh, could be brought into Singapore. So these could either be secondhand lines or lines which are in uh, existing uh, multinational or biotech or SME sites. Uh, around the world uh, into Singapore for faster ramp up. Uh, so such a brownfield site could be uh, as quick as uh, a one year. Uh, within ESCO Estate itself, we have a fill and finish facility. This is uh, coming online earliest quarter three 2021 next year. Uh, and we will be able to produce uh, 6 million doses, which is sufficient for uh, vaccine cell sufficiency for Singapore. Okay, thank you, Mr. Lin. We've been speaking with both Dr. Uh, Mr. Ng Chun Peng, a founder and CEO of Immunescape, and Mr. Lin Xiang Liang, a president and CEO of Esco Aster.